I am uh, Alex Costa, I'm 28 years old, I'm from Spain, and before coming here I studied nanoscience and nanotechnology, then I moved to a master in material science and uh, engineering. Then before going starting the PhD, I did two years in, uh, in companies, and now uh, then I started uh, my PhD here in, uh, in Brussels. Sustainable self-healing materials aim to substitute a large number of objects that we're using currently in our daily life. Probably the most common example of this that everybody could picture and have in mind are uh, car tires or even bicycle uh, tires. Currently the materials that these products are made of are chemically impossible to recycle. And that's a huge issue because in the end, all these tires end up in a landfill or burn. So that's a catastrophe. Thanks to the intrinsic properties of these sustainable self-healing materials, we would be able to recycle them, degrade them. So that's one of the main examples that I would use to uh, prove the use of these, uh, of these materials. So when I got here, they were already working with uh, self-healing uh, materials, but these materials had several sustainability issues. One of them that they were using like a very dangerous solvent, which is chloroform, and also they were not using any bio-based uh, material. So what I did is like tackling directly this, uh, these problems in my first project. So I started using bio-based resources. I removed a chloroform of the synthesis, and in general, I improved the sustainability of the synthesis by following the 12 principles of the green chemistry. Some of the principles that I use, I started designing the material by choosing several bio-based raw materials. Then for the synthesis, I designed it to be as much energy efficient and atom efficiency as possible. Then the materials are there as they are self-healing, they are already intrinsically recyclable and also the life of the product is extended. And finally, uh, at the end of the life of the material like sometimes you cannot recycle it anymore or you don't need to recycle it anymore so we design them also for uh, degradability this research is important in our daily life because basically when we're developing a new product currently we first think about the product and then we think about sustainability as two different issues but from my point of view, already from the very basis of the development, which is what I'm doing uh, in my PhD, we have to already start thinking on the sustainability, especially in this type of materials, which are self-healing materials, which are already designed or they are already sustainable materials because you prolong the life of a, of a product, it, they are recyclable. The industry would benefit from, this, uh, from these materials because now, more than ever, we should be concerned about the state of our planet. So even if because of their concerns or because of regulations, which they will come, they will have to adopt uh, greener technologies. So in the vision of this, uh, of this future, it's already a good idea to start already thinking about this, uh, this materials from a sustainable point of view, not only for its uh, technical properties.